Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Hope you are having a great day. It's an article I ran across states that uh, Pacific Islanders appear to be carrying the DNA of an unknown human species. Now the reason I say this is a uh, possible Mandela effect because uh, why hasn't this been discovered until now? Um, the thing about this Mandela effect, I think there's a lot of confusion out there. Uh, folks seem to think it has to be something in the past that has changed. The past has nothing to do with the Mandela effect. There's a video online that talks about D-Wave computers. Uh, the creator of them is talking about how these computers can access parallel universes, how it can exploit these universes, and how these computers can make changes in our universe. So, with technology at the state that it's in currently, as advanced as we've become, science fiction has become science fact. And these changes that we all are witnessing, those of us who will admit to seeing the changes, those of us who embrace seeing the changes and try to understand the changes, uh, it's very strange. I mean, there are so many changes out there from Chick-fil-A to the JFK assassination that it's just mind-boggling. But one thing that is kind of uh, weird, I guess you'd say, <clears throat> is that, uh, you know, I have similar memories as other people I know of events, but then other events will be different. Like, for instance, I remember Luke, I am your father, and I remember four people in the JFK limo. But there are people that remember Luke, I am your father, but I remember six people in the JFK limo. So I really don't know how many different uh, universes are merging currently, but uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty weird stuff. But the article here states that hints of an unidentified extinct human species have been found in the DNA of modern Melanesians those living in the region of South Pacific, northeast of Australia. According to new genetic modeling, the species is unlikely to be Neanderthal or Denisovian, two ancient species that are represented in the fossil record, but could represent a third unknown human relative that has so far eluded archaeologists. We're missing a population, or we're misunderstanding something about the relationships. Ryan Bolander, a statistical geneticist from the University of Texas, told Tina Heisman, say, at Science News. Bolander and his team have been investigating the percentages of extinct hominoid DNA that modern humans still carry today and say they found discrepancies in previous analysis that suggest our mingling with Neanderthals and Denisovians isn't the whole story. Okay, so my question still is why have we not discovered this until just now? So like I say, there's some folks that are going to say this is not a Mandela effect, and that's okay. I find that a lot of the folks that have negative comments are not experiencing the effects at all. So, I wish I were one of those who were from this reality, who were in a world of bliss, who knew that nothing at all was wrong. But, unfortunately, we are our memories. Our memories make up who we are, what we are and what we're doing. We learn by memory. We're only born knowing how to eat, breathe, and excrement. That's it. Everything else is learned. So, to question my memory is to question who I am. So, those of you who 
don't understand this phenomena or cannot embrace it, I understand and I don't blame you. I wish I could be in that state of bliss as well. On with the article, it is thought that between 100,000 and 60,000 years ago, our early ancestors migrated out of Africa and first made contact with other hominoid species living on the Eurasian landmass. This contact left a mark on our species that can still be found today, with Europeans and Asians carrying distinct genetic variants of Neanderthal DNA and their own, in their own genomes. And that's not all they've given us. Early the, earlier this year, researchers investigated certain genetic variants that people of European descent inherited from Neanderthals found that they associated with several they are associated with several health problems, including a slightly increased risk of depression, heart attack, and a number of skin disorders. And a separate study published earlier this month found evidence that modern Genital warts, otherwise known as the human papilloma virus, were sexually transmitted to Homo sapiens after our ancestors slept with Neanderthals and Denosavians once they left Africa. Great going, guys. While our relationship with Neanderthals has been widely researched, how we interacted with the the Nocevians, the distant cousins of Neanderthals, is less clear. The problem is that the Neanderthals are well represented in the fossil record, with many remains having been uncovered across Europe and Asia, but we all have but all we have of the Denisovians is a long, lone finger bone and a couple of teeth that were found in a Siberian cave in two thousand eight. Using a new computer model, figure out, uh, basically just goes on to explain in detail. It's a pretty long article. I will leave a uh, link to this article on the uh, video right below the uh, description there. But I uh, just want to say thank you all for watching. Thank you all for uh, subscribing. Uh, I'm doing this mainly because uh, it's a fascinating, mind-blowing phenomenon. Uh, never in my life did I imagine that my reality would change, that things I remember, that things I remember to my core have changed. And I'm not a media guy, I'm not a social media guy, I'm the least likely person you'd find on YouTube if it were not for this phenomenon. So uh, thank you all so very much. I certainly do appreciate everyone. Y'all have a uh, great day, great night, whatever time of day it is you're watching. Uh, and just remember, uh, keep your memories close and fresh and we'll all get through this. Take care and have a great night.